wondering what's safe and not safe in making love during pregnancy, don't worry, I got you covered. I'm going to give you five ways to practice safe sex during pregnancy. As long as you are having a normal pregnancy, unless your doctor or your midwife told you otherwise, sex is very good during pregnancy. It's good for you, it's good for your partner, and it's good for your baby. Some people have feared that somehow penetration will harm the baby. No. The baby is well protected by layers of fluid and tissue. They love it. They actually go to sleep when a mother receives one form of exercising, like having sex or walking or practicing yoga. Number one, vaginal sex. As mentioned before, if your medical provider or midwife gave you green light on having vaginal sex, you're good to go. Your baby is way out of reach and very well protected. In fact, research shows that a low-risk pregnant woman who stays sexually active during pregnancy are at much less risk of preterm delivery. So please enjoy it. Oral sex. Oral sex is very enjoyable during pregnancy. Sometimes penetration is off limits. So oral sex is the way to go. There's only one but here. For a male partner, do not blow air into her vagina. And vagina is not vulva. Vagina is the actual vaginal canal. It is possible for an air bubble to block one of the blood vessels called embolism. It happens rare, but potentially it can be fatal for the mom and the baby. This would be a great place to subscribe and hit a like button. I appreciate it. Anal sex. Anal sex is permitted unless you are suffering from hemorrhoids, which is one of the hazards of pregnancy. Just one rule here. Never go from anal sex to vaginal sex. And this applies not just during pregnancy, but in life overall. Otherwise, it can introduce an unhealthy bacteria to the vaginal canal, and we definitely don't want this, especially during pregnancy. Masturbation. Lately, I have changed my stance on masturbation, and I will be talking about it more in other videos, but please withhold yourself Sex, your sexual self-indulgence when you're in relationship with a partner because you're simply taking this moment, this pleasure away from him. If you're having difficulty and discomfort during penetration or you simply lost the ability to org orgasm during pregnancy, by the way, it's normal, and you prefer quietly to indulge yourself and softly massage your clitoris and give yourself an orgasm, you can do so in the presence of your partner. That will only increase your intimacy and bonding during this special moment in life. In other words, save it for him. Sex toys. Again, if your medical provider or midwife okayed the use of the sex toys, go ahead and use them. But if you have been following me for a while, you know I'm not a big fan of fake stuff. After all, it's a mechanical version of the real thing. Now, if you have a problem deriving pleasure from a real thing and prefer using vibrators, we need to talk. Check out my free guide to breast massage down below. My name is Katja Zar and I will see you in my next video. Oh, you know what would make me happy? If you subscribe, like, and comment on this video and share it with whoever needs it. Thank you.